Hi everyone, welcome to Bio 112 um, online. I want to show you, um, I want to walk you through everything that you need to do on um, um, and all where your activities and assignments are located on our Moodle page. Um, and this is going to cover all the way through January, uh, January 15th, because that's your first due date. So um, I'm on the Wilson Community College website, as you can see, and I'm clicking on Moodle. And you've already done this if you're watching this video, I know that, but then I'm going to go to our course, which is um, 2020 SP Bio 112 NT1. So it's Bio 112 Net 1, General Biology 2. That's our course. And once I click on our course, this is what I see. And um, over here on the left side, basically in the content, it's where you see, these are all called modules. That's the, that's the um, terminology that we use um, it, when you use like a learning um, system like Moodle or Blackboard. The, what's in the contents on the left side, each one is a module. So the first one is the welcome module, the course information module comes next, succeeding with Waymaker, and then chapter one viruses. So you need to do the first four modules by January 15th. But the most important thing to do is the first module, which is the welcome announcement. And you can see the welcome announcement on this page. Um, I won't read it because you can read it. Uh, but it also includes underneath that, it includes how you order your eScience lab kit. You do need to do that as soon as possible because your um, very first lab assignment is due on January 15th. And it can take a week for the lab kits to arrive. So please order today um, if you have not ordered your eScience kit yet. And again, you can click on this link and it will tell you how to, how to order it. And then you can click on the syllabus, which I'm gonna do very quickly um, and open it up. The, I want you to read the whole entire syllabus, but I'm just gonna skip all the way to the last part of the syllabus Here you can see how your grades are calculated. Exams are 60%, lab reports are 20%, quizzes are 20%. And then what I really want you to look at on your syllabus is the schedule. So this is the course schedule and on the syllabus it's pages seven and page eight. And it shows you each week what our topics will be, what our assignments are, and any assignment that you have that will be the due date. So on week one, the due date, even though the week ends on January 10th, the due date is not until January 15th. So the due date of January 15th means that's the due date for everything in the assignment section. Um, so that will also, that due date will also be the way that I take attendance. So if you are, if you turn in your viruses quiz on January 16th, you can do that and your grade will not um, be affected or may not be affected. I may not, dot, you know, I may not take points away from your grade, but I have to count you absent for January 15th. So for January 15th to be counted present, you have to do all these three assignments, the enrollment verification quiz, lab zero, getting started and the viruses quiz. Okay, so I'm gonna get out of the syllabus now if I were you, I would print, I would print out a hard copy of the schedule portion of the syllabus. Now, um, the enrollment verification part tells you that if you're an online student, you must complete your enrollment verification quiz by January 15th. This is the enrollment verification quiz. So make sure you complete it by January the 15th. You do, it tells you that you have an hour to complete it. So the first thing you wanna do is read your syllabus, complete your enrollment verification quiz, click on the course information page, scroll through the course information um, because there's a lot of good information there. But this one is um, also very important, succeeding with Waymaker. Waymaker is the um, app that we use that provides us with your study plan for every chapter, the readings for every chapter, and the quizzes for every chapter. And you must purchase an access code 
to access the quizzes. So if you go to Succeeding with Waymaker, read all of the sections, okay? I'm not going to read them, but this one here you have to actually do. It says Assignment, Research, Consent, and Communication Preferences. You need to do this right now. Um, that, that is something that they need within the first few days. And then um, all right, so all of these things, all of these sections, you just need to read and you'll understand Waymaker a little bit better. Then you want to go to chapter one on viruses, and you'll see here that chapter one on viruses has a study plan. When you do the study plan, it comes up, and you can look at the getting started stuff if you want to, but you can or can, you can just dive in. Let me show you what that those look like. Okay, so if you dive in, this is the first reading assignment: viral evolution, morphology, and classification. So you click on that. And you go through the material and read it. Maybe double click. Okay, I'm sorry, I, I wasn't scrolled down enough. Okay, so um, I'm going to click on part one of this section, which is introduction. And this will just uh, tell me what my objectives are. Then I'm going to go next. And it will start the reading. It looks like a textbook now. Okay, so this is showing you, this is actually a picture of a virus called the tobacco mosaic virus, which affects different plants, not just tobacco. Um, these are actually orchid leaves that are affected by the tobacco mosaic virus. Anyway, I'm not going to keep going with that, but you just keep reading, keep reading, keep reading, looking at pictures, watching videos, whatever the section asks you to do. And then after you're done, hit next. There will come a point after you do your readings and throughout those readings, if they're a visual, like a, a picture or a diagram to look at, make sure you do that. Or if there's a video to watch, watch the video. But then you'll come up to practice questions. So the practice question, you answer it yourself in your head, and then you click show answer, and it'll tell you if you're right or not. That just kind of lets you know if you're understanding the material. So it, that if you get it wrong, you can go back and maybe read a little bit, study a little bit more. Um, and then we have this section on virus classification, which is actually a pretty difficult section. And we're going to concentrate on um, actually on on the Baltimore classification, but you'll learn that when you start reading and studying. But after you just read through that, click next, and then here's a check your understanding quiz. Now this one will have three questions. I'm not going to do it. I just want to show you. The first question says the blank hypothesis explaining the origin of viruses focuses on viral genetic material. Um, and so let's say that you choose, uh, I'm gonna choose one I know is wrong. I guess that's devolution. <laughs> De that, that is not the right, correct hypothesis, but I'm gonna check that and I'm gonna put just a guess. Okay, and it's incorrect and it tells me the correct answer. Um, and then you're, you'll have two more questions. So let's just go through, I'll, I'll just go through and do this first one so you can see. Next question. And I'm just going to randomly answer them because I just want you to see. I'm going to do just a guess each time. Next question. Okay, now show results. After you finish that quiz and it shows you the results, <laughs> it's telling telling you that or telling me that I need work. Okay, so question one, two, and three were incorrect. So you can go back and retake the quiz. Um, but you can also go back and study, go back to the study plan and just study that whole section over again, maybe in a different way. Maybe this time when you study, you take some notes, particularly on the quiz questions that you've just answered and missed, you know, on those topics. 
that you just go back and study that material again and then you can retake the quiz. Okay, um, you can retake the quiz as many times as you want to, but what I want to explain to you is there are only six questions. So no matter how many times you retake the quiz, you will get one, you will get three of the six questions that are in the question bank. So you can continue to retake those quizzes until you make hundreds. Um, it won't affect your grade, but it, it will tell you what you know and what you need work on. And it will also send information to me by email, letting me know what you're struggling with. So you may see that I focus on, um, like I do a short video on, on a topic because I got an email that most of the class is struggling with that topic, okay? So these quizzes are not graded, but still very important. Now, um, after, after you do that, click next, and you just keep clicking next until you get to the end. Um, okay, so, so you do your study plan first, and then I'm gonna go back to our page that we were on, which is the chapter one viruses. That's our module. We're in that module, chapter one viruses. And in that module, we just did the study plan, now we do the quiz, which I'm not going to click on this, but this is graded. Um, and so the quiz on viruses, you will take that quiz and um, you can take that quiz twice. It, it, I think it's if you don't get an 80, 80 or 85 at least, it will continue to give you more attempts. So let's say you get 90 and 100. If you want more attempts, I have to go in and I have to manually click to more attempts. And I do that, um, I do that sometimes, you know, like I just go in and get, give the whole class more attempts. The reason I do that is because when you take the quiz, there's 20 questions. But if you take the quiz again, they're not gonna be the same 20 questions. But your exams are coming, at least half of each exam comes from these quiz questions. So the more you take these quizzes, the better your exam scores are gonna be. So even if you take the quiz and make 100 the first time, you still have only seen 20 of the questions from the question bank. So you wanna continue taking the quizzes many, many times, as many times as you have time to do. Um, it doesn't hurt to take them over and over and over again. Um, but when you find yourself making hundreds, you know, over and over, or, you know, whatever, you, you can stop um, if you feel like you've mastered the topic. But the point is, you, if you do make a hundred on two quizzes, I will have to go in and manually click. I'll, I'll even show you what it looks like from my end. I'll have to go in and I will have to go to manage quiz attempts. And there's no, no, nothing on here right now, but it would have your name and I would be able to click um, two more attempts if you didn't have any, any attempts left. I could click two more attempts and it would give you two more attempts so you could retake it. That quiz is due on January the 15th. It says that in your syllabus. So back to the viruses module. The, another thing that's due on January 15th is this lab. Um, this is the lab itself. This is the assignment. So this is where you click to actually turn in your lab assignment. This above here is the video explaining how to do the lab assignment. So I won't explain that right now. So I think that covers it for anything that you have to do between now and January the 15th. Please email me with, um, with any questions that you might have.